What's going on? Mike Willan dude here. Just did a brush cutting job. What's been going on? What we got here? Looks like we got a got a Harley rake. Like we got a Harley rake over there, a grapple in the bucket inside the grapple, the root grapple, and a trencher. Huh. And as you see, here goes my tractor. So, what is it that I'm trying to say? Should I buy all these attachments to be more efficient? With my tractor. Not quite. I made another investment. What's that? Got the iron. Rhino, skid steer, the IR-1000. There goes the brush cutter attachment. I got this from uh, the place where, shout out to uh, Jeremiah Jennings, Growing Green. You know, if you don't know Jeremiah Jennings, then you must be one of those who sit around, listen to music all day. That's not my style. Um, personally, I like listening to things that get me better, develop me. Uh, motivational podcasts and green industry podcasts, Bible podcasts, a little bit of everything, just podcasts, things I can learn from. Well, Jeremiah Jennings is the only one I've seen who has this iron rhino. And um, I went and reached out to get some more information. Wasn't really thinking I was going to jump out there and do much. But their uh, team down there in Georgia is great. I was able to get all these attachments you see. Preset tracks for mentioning growing green. Um, I bought the binders and chains for probably half the price that it would cost to get one of the major brands. And this thing outlives my Kubota by a long shot. My Kubota would struggle with the boss plows in the sander. But with this, this sucker lifts them up like it's nothing. Um, so the Kubota BX2380 is for sale with a ton of attachments. It's it's a still of a deal for anybody looking for a tractor. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. As most people know, I take care of all my own maintenance. It's just I'm moving forward with this because I'm moving more into redoing like gravel driveways with the Harley rake, prepping facade areas, doing land clearing with this. I have a stump grinder attachment that I didn't show you that goes to this. So I'll be doing stump grinding as well. So I'm just trying to utilize something full time. Sorry about all the sirens, but what can you do? My tractor would have periods of time where it makes a lot of money, but it'll have other periods of time where it's just sitting. I don't like that. I feel like with this, I have enough attachments to keep this sucker busy. All right, y'all, just a quick video on an update of something that we did, uh, that we jumped out there to do. I still need to do an equipment setup video for this season which is always weird for me because I have like three different equipment setups. I have my route A, which is my Monday route where I do the most amount of like, um, the most amount of cookie cutter type lawns. So that's a whole different setup. That's my Bradley 61 and my Bradley 32 inch, which by the way, <laughs> we got that too. Uh, then you have my commercial route and my estate route. Those are two different days, two different routes where I bring the 72 inch right usually and the 61 inch right. And then I have my lawn care setup where I have like my ride on sprayer, which I have a carrier for that now. So I don't have to bring this whole big trailer out. But that is all coming soon. Y'all take it easy. Uh, we're stepping out on faith to. Uh, grow our company in the right way and me getting this is one thing where I can run a machine versus 
um, needing a lot of labor to, labor to get jobs done. Alright, y'all, take it easy. Peace.